Charles. He's an aircraft maintenance engineer and he's going to be telling us everything or basically everything he can tell us about his course today and how he got into NCAT and he goes to Wow, that means he's trying to tell us that there are different yeah. options <laughs> yeah. here as concerns aircraft maintenance engineering. Okay, and I'm also aware that in I don't know much about aircraft maintenance engineering here in NCAT, but I have a little knowledge that there is what they call an average program and a standard program, and also there's this HND, HND and ON program. So can you please just help us like explain to us the differences between this? You can start from standard then the average program, the HND and OND. Okay, thank you. Um, the standard program, it's open for every, uh, every secondary school graduate okay. who is science related, who has um, five credits pass in his five compulsory subjects and um, he applies, gets the form, applies and goes for the interview and is admitted as an aircraft maintenance engineer standard. So what he gets is he gets his um, professional diploma as a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer and he can work anywhere except he can work M -M on the aviation industry alone okay yeah. that's for the standard yes for the standard okay yeah. what of the average then for the average um you have to be a graduate okay of a university or a polytechnic that means you have to have an hnd or a degree in strictly in electrical engineering mechanical engineering and computer engineering Okay, so you must be, you must have done either electrical engineering, mechanical, you must have done these courses. Yes, so if for adventure you did something like physics or mathematics mm -hmm. or geography, mm -hmm. okay, so you must have done any of the engineering yeah, courses the engineering that you just courses. mentioned. Okay, and so what of the HND part? Um, the HND part is uh, open for people who have a minimum requirement of a national degree and a one-year cognate IT experience okay. from any polytechnic of your choice in Nigeria. And it's open only to electrical engineers who are in electrical engineers, <laughs> okay. ending in mechanical engineers, a mechanical engineering, sorry, okay. ending in computer engineering, or ending in aircraft engineering technology, Wow, which is offered only in Airforce Institute. Okay, that's half it, half it for sure. Okay, so uh, unless you've done these other things, like you can go to any other polytechnic and come back to NCAT and do your HND, is there any other place in, in maybe in Nigeria, sorry, that they also offer aircraft maintenance engineering? Yes, they offer in half it. Half it, you can also run, you have to run your uh, national diploma in any of those courses I've mentioned here. You can run your HND in aircraft maintenance engineering. They were the first who started the okay. HND program before NCAT took after them. Okay, then why is it that we meet some of their students also come here, like aircraft maintenance, they come here to do aircraft maintenance engineering. What, since they have it there, so what brings them here? I've, I've met a few of them, and from my discussions with them, I think they want to be in the civil world. Because okay. ABIT is basically um, Air Force, so most of them want to socialize and see how the civil uh, engineering world is so they don't have to end up being an officer oh, even though okay. it's not compulsory <laughs> okay so and uh, for the uh, polymer that um yeah are months uh are <laughs> <and they're laughs> so they so in the end you think they want to relate yes, well. yes, so, <laughs> so it's not that they don't do it in Africa, yeah. but just because they want to have an extra knowledge mm -hmm. and see the outside world okay and is it that they take only uh people that want to become officers, maybe if you are an officer no, no, related no, no, no. or okay, so they take every yeah, other every person. person. Okay, so NCAT too takes people directly from yeah, Africa yes. to this place. So what, uh, can you just quickly tell us like what sport you of, why did you want to become an aircraft maintenance engineer? Okay, actually I wanted to be like a pilot just like you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I grew up okay. in an airport environment and I, I see planes a lot. But after a while, when I checked, uh, Finances, yeah, yeah. and I saw that okay, for now I can't cope um, with the finances of being a pilot. So I decided okay, it, 
next thing is to be an aeronautical engineer. Oh, okay. Then I, I tried uh, every institution, looked for every institution in Nigeria. I couldn't find an aeronautical engineer. And I had a friend who was a pilot, who was a pilot, a student pilot in this school. So he told me about this school. Okay. So I had interest. I checked the school's website. I found a craft maintenance engineer. So I wanted to be a standard, because uh, it was only standard that was option then. That was 2013, 2014. Okay. But then I saw a new advertisement on a HNG, a craft maintenance engineer, but I had to pass to the diploma. And then I got an admission as a degree student in the University of Technology and Korea. So I had to decide if I should go to university become an average student or just run through the engine and the HNG. Oh, wow. So, that's quite that's yeah. kind of <laughs> and the, like you've been you've been rolling around this thing like you and, just and the funniest the funniest part was when I came for the end I picked this queen jam. Oh, okay. actually okay so like, NCAT now takes yes, people directly yes, from, from jam. jam so I picked oh, okay. I picked the school in jam as a national diploma for my monotechnic but it's oh, under okay. the monotechnic um, list of schools so when I picked I uh, was to be in the aeronautical telecommunication engineering school okay to run a national diploma in electrical electronics engineering and after I, I registered and they told me that I can apply for the HND with that but I'm now streamlined to avionics option because for you to be an avionics engineer, you have to have an electrical background. Why to be an FMR power plant, you have to have a mechanical background. Wow. wow. Uh, and the standard was strictly the FMR power plants. They don't have the avionics option. I was wondering, okay, what's really about this avionics since they don't take to, uh, That's true. Maybe you need to even enlighten us. What about the avionics? Because it's like mm. some people are avionics. So I think avionics has to do with something lighting. Yeah, electric, anything like aircraft electric. Okay, so there are different people that repair the engine and other parts yes, of the yes. aircraft. And there are several people that repair just the lighting, yes. the electrical parts. Yes, and the structure. Wow, wow, wow. That's very, very nice. So what do you think now? Okay, what do you stand to gain as concerning the following the process of ONE, HND, then getting your license? And what do you think is the advantage and disadvantage from this abridged and standard okay um the advantage uh, everyone speaks well of this course actually <laughs> so, but to be sincere um, um the advantage is it saves you against average first of all it saves you the stress of going to a conventional um, university for okay. five years because there's no engineering course that is below five years True. and you're one year advice so the stress of going six years then coming back for your hfm for your average which spending year, minimum yeah. of one to two years. Okay. So I getting your license. I saw I saw that located the shorter route. Then also um, against the average also and the standard this time. I feel it's your H N G is like your first academic um, certificate. Yeah. And having my first academic certificate as an aircraft maintenance engineer, none of the two has that. Because okay. an average has its first degree as an electrical or yes. mechanical. So maybe due to the condition of the country or one way or the other they find themselves as an average student. Why the standard they just have a national uh, professional diploma, not a national diploma. And they are limited academically. So probably when not to go into administrative offices, they have to go into maybe it's for another course, a degree course. Oh, okay, so you're trying to tell us that. These guys that come back as an average student, like when they come to get their license, after doing a different degree in the university, they also, like, they cannot do any other thing with the course. Yeah, they cannot do any other thing with their average except in their vision. Oh, or they okay. have a degree to do any other thing. Oh, okay, but if somebody that does the standard program has an opportunity to do every no. other thing, both academic no, part no. and... No, the standard has only, uh, has an advantage only in the admission okay. You can't use standard license in any other place. Wow. Except the police. <laughs> That's police anger, right? Yeah, police, with your standard um, license, you can be given two star, one star, one star. Just equivalent with someone who went to the university. Okay. But apart from the police, um, every standard license is just basically in the admission. Position. Anything out to your highest qualification is so what do you advise people that are wishing to become aircraft maintenance engineers, engineers basically, and 
and they are just finishing from secondary school. Will you advise? What do you think, based on your experience, how you see everything? Will you think they should first go to university and come for a license, or do you think they should start throughout getting all their degrees in their vision, especially in Nigeria? Because I know abroad or other countries you have the opportunity to do aeronautic engineering which keeps you in the line of aviation so you can even get your license and keep working you can maintain you can design but now for this other uh, course how do you think we should do it should they come to NCAT or maybe look for AFIT maybe go to AFIT and do HND okay OND HND then have their full professional license or they should go to a university Okay, uh, before my advice, uh, there's a point of correction. When you run an aeronautical engineering course, you don't have a license. You just, okay. It's just academic. basically academic. Wow. So in US or other countries, they also run aircraft maintenance engineering courses. Wow. In university, it's a whole different ballgame. Okay. And that's why you have your licenses. So um, for the advice, I would advise every young, uh, young person who wants to be in the aviation industry. I would prefer, in the situation of the country, there's, a, there's an advice being and there's considering the situation of Nigeria. Okay. So, my advice naturally uh, is that you should run an HND, ND, HND, because it grounds you into the aviation industry. Every of your knowledge is basically applied, applied to aviation. Okay. Even your ND as an electrical electronics, if you run it in NCAT here, there are some few applications to, to aviation already. So it grounds you. It's your first degree. It gives you. It gives you an edge, actually, and it also saves you time. Okay. And uh, you will ever eventually serve. So, <laughs> it's so true. It's, okay, yeah. you still serve even yeah. after your yes, HND. Yes. Okay. So NCAT gives you the opportunity to serve yes, too. Yes. Okay. Because a lot of people also look at that fact that ah, what if I don't serve? Can I also do? Okay. Wow. That's, and that's it's also like using one stone to kill two beds. Your your certificate and your license. But in looking at the situation of this country, now advising from Nigeria's point of view, I would advise you go for average. Um, okay, that's doing yes, university. your university yeah. and coming. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, in the situation of this country, we tend to um, look at degree yeah. above HND. Even Very though the important. government has been trying to give a balance to HND by giving matching right now in technology. But with the situation, there are some you know, limitations you have probably if you want to go into government like NCA okay. and so, so you that have a, a degree you seem to have a better advantage. A better advantage. But basically with knowledge wise both the standard the the average and the HND seems to have we have the same knowledge. Oh okay. Um, knowledge share because the same instructors who teach the standard are the same instructors who teach the HND and are the same instructors who teach so just the same knowledge, just different certificates and stuff. Okay, so it depends on what you want. Yeah. If you think, okay, you want to know only about aviation, aviation throughout, I think you should just come and do your OND, HND, and get your license. You still have the opportunity to say. But if you want to, if you still consider yourself doing other things, you want to still have more opportunities in other areas, then you can go to a university and come here to Encas and do aircraft maintenance engineering, which means it's the average course you're going to be doing. So it all depends on your choice. We are not uh, giving you, okay, you must do this sure. or you must do that. It just depends on what you want. So seriously, we really want to thank you because I do not have any idea. <laughs> I didn't have any idea about Agra Maintenance and General. I just wanted you, these guys, this one is doing this course, this one is doing this course. So we really want to thank you for coming here to explain these things to us. And we know very, we are very, in fact, I'm so sure that somebody is actually, you know, enlightened with this information and the person will be be more knowledgeable to take the right decisions. Thank you very much, Kairi. And we hope to see you, you know, when you're already working in the field. So you can come and tell us how the field looks yeah, like. Yeah, I'll, I'll be glad to. <laughs> I'll yeah. say, his birthday is on Sunday. And make sure you give him a thumbs up and happy birthday in the comment section. Thank He'll be you. waiting to see it. So thank, thank you very you. much, K-pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another thing is that, guys, we share videos on aviation, motivation, and adventure on this channel. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss anything. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.